It's week 10 in the NFL, and you need to know which running back to start to win your matchup. Well, we got you. SI's fantasy analyst Michael Fabiano is here to break down the backs that can make all the difference in winning or losing. Babs, who should fantasy managers start this week? I like Antonio Gibson this week. Now, he's not putting up huge numbers on a week-to-week -week basis, but he's giving you right around 13 points per game, so his floor is pretty decent. But I think his ceiling is better this week, Caitlin, against the Lions. They've allowed 15 total touchdowns and the most fantasy points to running backs. And seven running backs have scored over 20 points against Detroit's defense. So Gibson is in a smash spot. And I also like Mike Davis. Christian McCaffrey's dealing with a shoulder injury. Didn't practice on Wednesday. Keep tabs on his status. But if CMC can't go, then Mike Davis is back in a featured role for Carolina. Uh, earlier this season, Davis scored 15 and a half fantasy points against this week's opponent, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And we know volume is going to be there. Carolina's offense, they like to throw the football to the running backs out of the backfield. So Davis, if McCaffrey is out, is back in that RB1, RB2 conversation. All right, well, you also think Chase Edmonds and J.K. Dobbins are playmakers worth starting this week. But which running backs should fantasy managers just leave on their bench? DeAndre Swift is driving me nuts, okay? Because every single week we think this is the week that he's going to take over and be the guy. But that hasn't been the case. I mean, over the last three weeks, he leads the Lions' backfield and snaps and touches, but he's averaging fewer than 13 touches. That's not a lot of volume. And Adrian Peterson is right there. He's averaging just three fewer touches over that time. Washington's defense has allowed the seventh fewest fantasy points to running back. So if you have to start the rookie, I would temper expectations. And then Jarek McKinnon. Now, it looks like he's taken back over that lead role for San Francisco, but the snaps and the touches, well, the numbers just aren't fantastic, all right? He's averaged only 11 touches per game since week eight, and the Saints' defense is very good against the run. They've allowed five total touchdowns and the fifth fewest fantasy points to running back, so McKinnon's probably a middling flex starter at best this week. Also on Fab Sit and List is Devin Singletary versus the Cardinals and Damian Harris versus the Ravens. Thank you so much for joining me and for the insight, Fabs. For more insight and Sports Illustrated's award winning weekly player rankings, get your membership to SI Fantasy Plus for just $14.99 a month.